Hi guys, my name is Hannah. I am the teen librarian for Augusta County Public Libraries. I work at the main library in Fishersville and I am here to tell you guys about some services that the library offers. Um, even though we are closed to the public currently due to the COVID pandemic, we still offer curbside services. So you are still able to check out books, DVDs, audiobooks, and pick them up from our front doors. Um, we offer checkouts for hotspots and laptops as well. And then we also offer copy, printing, um, scanning, and faxing services. But what I'm going to show you guys is some things we have offered online and how to navigate them and look into what we have. So I'll show you from square one, if you're just at home, how to get to uh, the teen page for Augusta County Libraries. So even if you're just on Google, you can search Augusta County Library. And it's going to come up with our website. This is our website, AugustaCountyLibrary.org. You click on that, and the page that's going to have everything you need at your uh, fingertips is going to be our virtual room for teens. So you'll come over to children's and teens section, go down to virtual room for teens. And here we are. And I'm going to go into a little bit more detail everything that's on this page. There are two ways to get a library card online. The first is to go to AugustaCountyLibrary.org and you can scroll down and on these little side buttons you can press sign up for a library card. And then of course with the virtual room for teens it has everything there. You can just click the library card icon. It will then take you to a site where you can uh, fill out this information right here. Um, you press, press register and then it will create a temporary account for you. You will have to call the library and tell them that you online registered and that you need a permanent library card number. We will then give the library card number to you and you can start to place holds and use Hoopla and everything online. So I'm going to show you guys um, some things that people don't tend to think about when they think about public libraries is how much we can help with um, job searches for career prep, for practice tests, and homework. So we are at the virtual teen room page. We're going to click this link, hard work pays off, and that'll take us to this page. It is additional resources and you can get all the information from down here. I think the easiest is to go up here and look into uh, these kind of like hotspots. Um, we'll go to homework help real quick. So Explorer is our database that you can use if you are doing research. It's a lot more reliable than Google because it is um, actually taking from books, journals, scientific articles, not just random web pages that you can't um, be sure if they're telling you the correct information. So let's say I'm doing a report on ladybugs. You just search ladybugs and then it'll come up with, probably help if I made it one word, um, and it'll come up with a different sources you can see here and you get to view the PDFs, get your information from that. So that is our database. The other thing I wanted to show you with our homework help page is down here. Citation Machine is a fantastic website. It really helped me when I was in college um, learning the differences between MLA and APA citations, where to put citations in your papers. That's really hard to learn. It's confusing. This is a great website from that. And again, you can get it from our homework help page. The next thing we'll go into with additional resources is going to be our Job Seekers tab. 
We have resources up top on how to build a resume, how to build a cover letter. Um, it's really great when you're first starting out to have a nice looking resume put together, even if you don't have a work history. If it shows where you have your information organized on your skill sets, that's a great thing to show a uh, potential job. And then we also have job listings here. Um, Indeed has everything from the private sector to the public sector. Idealist is really great if you um, know that you're interested in nonprofits, community organizing, um, anything like that. Idealist is a great source for that. And then we also have uh, different government jobs listed. Career um, One Step and Glassdoor are websites that you can go to to learn about different careers uh, how much money they make, how available are these careers, how hard is it to get into the field. So this is great to research if you have a career in mind that you want to do. Um, great information for that. Then we also offer uh, test prep, especially for the SATs, ACTs. Um, you can go on and practice taking the tests before you actually have to go in. It helped me a lot. I took mine like 10 times before I took the SATs. Um, It'll go to here, and you can see there's lots of different options that you can choose from. One more quick thing I wanted to show you guys that's kind of fun is that we actually have virtual game room at the um, library. Currently, we have a couple escape rooms that you can play. I add more all the time. There's a Pokemon one that's about to come out. We also have choice adventures, so you make different choices, and it determines if you get out of the forest or if you don't. Um, these two were created by teen volunteers, so if you're interested in volunteering at the library right now, you can do that as an option. Um, in the future, we'll also have more um, tabletop uh, gaming clubs listed on this website, so just keep an eye out on that. Okay, so I'm going to very briefly go over how to place a hold. This will be after you've signed up with your library card and you have a permanent established library card number. If you go to the virtual teen room, uh, Kuma, my little dog, is asking, how do I place a hold? If you click this link, that'll take you to about a 10 minute video by our librarian, Allie, that really goes into a lot of the detail of our search catalog and how to navigate it. I'm just gonna show you guys um, a quick intro and get you somewhat familiar with the catalog. So again, at Augusta County Library, if you go here to the side blue bar, the best thing to do is just press search the catalog and it will take you to the catalog. Now you're going to want to log in and all you have to do is put in your library card number. The easy username is essentially just your library card number and your pen. Bada bing, bada boom, you put that in, log in, and then you're into your account. So let's say I want to read Umbrella Academy. I can just search it there, and that video will actually go into these different um, uh, search bars. So if you're looking only um, to pick it up in Deerfield or something, you can make different selections over there, but that video goes over that. So let's say right here, I want the first book of the Umbrella Academy. There's no copy. So what we will do is we're going to place a hold on it. It's as easy as that. You pick up whatever location you want to get it from. I work at Augusta County, so I'll put it on there. The first available copy, that's going to be your best bet. That's going to get it to you the, quick list, the quickest. So then you're going to submit the hold. And you want to look for that green bar up here that says your hold was placed successfully. And then it'll be waiting for you. You'll get a notification when it has arrived. A few things to notice on our catalog when you are searching for different items is going to be um, the format, which is always listed like right under that picture. It'll show if it's a book or right here. So we have an ebook. So that'll kind of go into what I'm going to show you with Overdrive and Hoopla, but you can um, download these and it'll send you to um, that screen that we're going to go over in just a second. But besides looking at that format, 
the locations doesn't necessarily matter if you're placing a hold because right now since we're not open to the public you can't come in and actually get the book go ahead and place a hold wherever you can and just select that first available and we'll get you there so i want to show you guys when you are logged in you can look at what holds that you have by pressing your account we'll have your name up there in the corner just press that and we'll go to your account summary so i just placed that hold for umbrella academy and i can see right here where that hold is um, you can also go and see what items you have checked out just kind of look at that and then you can also have lists on um, the catalog which I think is fun I'll be searching around and I'll see something that's not what I'm looking for but I say oh that sounds really interesting to read um, instead of doing place hold you can say add to list and then you got your list right here so that is our catalog at the library and just to remind you guys you can get to the catalog by going to AugustaCountyLibrary.org, scrolling down to these little hot buttons on the side, and then it's going to be search the catalog, and that'll take you to our catalog. So the catalog is great to search for what's um, within our system being Augusta County, Stanton, and Waynesboro, we're all connected, so you can search anything from there. But we also over offer OverDrive and Hoopla. Hoopla is really good for um, media such as like comic books, uh, videos, TV shows, has a lot of those. OverDrive is good for audiobooks and books like that. So if we're at the virtual teen room, if we click the little phone, here's how we'll get to OverDrive. OverDrive sends you to Libby. That's basically OverDrive's kind of middleman to make it a little bit more easy to search items. You can get it as an app. That's what I recommend. It's really easy right on your phone. Or if you go to a browser, you can just do LibbyApp.com. And when you first sign up, it's going to ask you if you have a library card. Um, you can just search for your library. And if we're searching Augusta County, it's going to be Southwest Virginia Public Libraries. And we'll just kind of skip that step. This is what the format looks like. You can pick whatever book you're interested in borrowing um, and then borrow. And then for Hoopla, if you're in the teen room, you go ahead and click this tablet and that will send you over to Hoopla. Again, Hoopla is very good um, for TV shows, movies, that kind of thing. Um, you will have to sign up, but you'll just sign up with your library card. Um, it's very easy, but of course, if you ever have questions, uh, feel free to call the library and we'd be happy to help you navigate. So that was a very brief introduction to what we have um, available as far as digital resources go at the library. Um, doesn't cover everything. There's a lot more we can do for you. So if you ever have any questions, please feel free to call the library or you can also email me and I'll include that information here at the end. But I want to thank you for listening to me today and have a good one.